testing the Remington UMC 357 Magnum. It's a 125 grain semi-jacketed hollow point. As you see there, product number L357M1B. This is probably my second most requested video as of this time. Everybody wants to see this shot in a snub nose and a full-size revolver. Well, as you guys see in the background today, four inch Ruger GP100. We're gonna go through four layers of denim calibrated gel. Let's check this out, guys. Number two most requested round. Let's check it out. Remember, semi-jacketed, as you guys see there, it's a scallop style jacket with an exposed lead core. Old school style round, but everybody seems to love it. Let's check it out, guys. Okay guys, here we go. The long awaited Remington 125 grain semi jacketed hollow point shot out of a GP100 four inch calibrated gel, four layers of denim. Let's check it out guys. Here we go. That was definitely loud and definitely explosive. Let's go check this out. Okay guys, here we are with that Remington 357 Magnum. You know, sometimes you guys, it's really hard to see down in there until I do the side cut. Magnum, that's all I gotta say, Magnum. Look at that wound track, massive. You can see, we already knew that part of that lead was gonna bust away from the top. Look at that, massive denim dropped out. Just to show you guys how massive this is. The wound track itself is four inches wide. Magnum. Did I, did I say that word already? Magnum. Not a very long wound track, but a very devastating wound track, needless to say. The wound track itself looks like it only went probably about six inches right there. You guys see that? It's starting to fade away, streamline. Streamlines down into the second block. There it sits. 13 and a half inches. Let me get that up out of there, guys. There we go, guys. 13 and a half inches, 357 Magnum, 125 grain. No wonder everybody wanted me to test this. Did I went, mention the word Magnum yet? It's like bacon, makes everything better. That is super awesome. Let's get this track cut open. I really wanna hurry, because I wanna see this myself. Awesome, guys, Remington, UMC, 125 grain. Okay, guys, here's that close-up of that Remington 125 grain, about a half inch in. A little weird the way you guys have to look at the ruler there. Explosive, there's part of a jacket down there. Massive guys, just massive. That thing is cutting in big time. And it's streamlined on down from there. Just massive. That's 357 Magnum right there. Go back up to the top part of this. Look at that. Dumping denim, cutting in, tearing, streamlines out, goes down to its resting spot. That's power, guys, right there, power. Okay guys, here's that other side of that uh, side view here for you on that Remington 125. I just wanted to show you guys this one too because it's just awesome looking. You guys could see it tore and see that big old piece right there blew down. You see a piece blow down over there. You couldn't see this from the other side. I think you could see that one down there, but you couldn't see this. The wave motion that it came in and just blew up. That is some serious trauma right there. Magnum, I think we said that word a couple times. And, and it just keeps on going down. I mean, it was just an, such an impressive wound track. That just exploded. That's trauma right there. That takes some serious velocity to do that and some weight on top of it. Awesome round, guys. That's devastating. That's five, six inches in. Well, no, this is about three and a half, four inches in right here. Still devastating. That's going to tear anything that it hits. It's tearing it up. Magnum. That's all we gotta say. Weights and measurements and post, guys. Hey guys, we're at the post of that Remington 125 grain semi-jacketed hollow point. Everybody wanted to see this video. You guys seen the results today. Just awesome. I think we summed it up with a word, Magnum. You don't really need to say too much more. There's not gonna be a big post here. It is what it is. You guys seen the wound track, four inches wide, 
six and a half inches until it started streamlining shot it out of a gp100 the round looks awesome guys did did what it was supposed to do went in there and kicked some ass bottom line kicked ass weight retention we knew it wasn't going to be 100 percent i'll throw that up there like i always do you know and expansion awesome even though it broke away a lot of the front part this is a scalloped hollow point 0.567 throw that up there 77.4 on weight retention we lost a lot of the lead in the front we didn't lose it still in the media but you guys understand what i'm saying it's not staying with the whole deal but still explosive enough awesome round guys just awesome uh velocity i'll throw that up there just just awesome i'll throw it right there and i think i'll even throw in the rest of them so you guys can see what the spread was and everything just a very good round 15 18 was the five shot average you guys will see that wonderful round guys now this part number this l357 m1b i don't know if that's going to be the same part number this is a hundred round value pack and believe it or not i did pick this up at walmart a couple months back that's also where i picked up that 38 plus p that we tested a couple weeks back so once again guys you see what it looks like there in the cylinder you don't want to be staring down that you see that you might want to turn and run thugs because you're gonna die anyway once again 125 grain semi jacketed hollow point once again if you didn't catch it in the beginning semi jacketed is it scallop it's got a lead top that's going to fragment away as you see right here and you guys will see close-ups of this here at the end you guys have a good one great recommendation guys you all wanted to see this so this this video is all for you guys all for you Remington 125 grain you guys have a good one